Look at her. <laughs> hey, over there, look at them. Is there an Adam and Miss Tammy Brown? She's walking children <laughs> in nature. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Look at Her, the Hey Queen after show where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with, and <laughs> spills a little tea. Oh, it's oolong. Delicious. Or throws a little shade, only if she has to. Or just tells us something that we don't know. Today, we have an iconic queen with us, the one and only Ms. Tammy Brown. Yay! Yay. No studio audience, Tammy, because of COVID. Just us and our hard claps. Hard clap harder. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Oh, Tammy, always a pleasure to have you back in the Hey Queen studio. You look stunning. Thank you. Polka dots, sparkles, and what is that? Where is that belt from? Uh, the belt is actually a Wichol belt from Mexico. Ah. A Corandero belt, actually. Fantastic. So I kind of want to tread softly on the bridge that I'm crossing I because understand. of the appropriation <laughs> right. business. Got it, got it. <clears throat> you never saw a belt. Uh, uh, no, but please. you did. <laughs> please. <laughs> But you have seen these beautiful ladies, Mr. Adam Joseph and Eric Toraviant, my emotional support orchestra, here to look as well. That's right, we couldn't be clam happier to see Tammy Brown in the studio. <laughs> yeah. We love you, Tammy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Damn me. Now, honey, uh, you've been on Hey Queen more times than, uh, than many, many people, so I know you know how to play this game. Look at her. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let us begin. Look at her. <gasps> Trixie Mattel. Now, Trixie Mattel and you, uh, she came on the show and told us some great stories about your trip to Australia together. Mm -hmm. Trixie Pixie Wixie. That is her, her special name. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's her little made up name for me. Uh, you know, Trixie's just wonderfully supportive of me, always, you know, includes me on her tours and whatnot. And I have to tell you, I love her husband. Uh -huh. He's really fun. Wonderful. You know, we get in the, we gossip a little bit. Uh. <laughs> but that, that's off the record. Right. <laughs> now, there was the famous story she told us on this show about when you guys were going through customs. Do you want to regale us with that tale? Well, I told them that I was a top-notch transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> at security, and that always kind of lets them kind of let you go through. Just right. tell them you're a transvestite, and usually they'll let you through. <laughs> What's it like performing, uh, you know, because Trixie uh, is one of the Drag Race girls who has a, a fan base outside of the Drag Race world that are very young. What was it like performing for that audience? Well, I mean, it, it's simple. Uh -huh. Just get up there and razzle-dazzle them. <laughs> yeah. And they're very loyal and sweet and message me, and every time I perform with her, my numbers go up on Instagram. Uh -huh. I don't have to pay for those, you know, Increase in numbers. Thank goodness. <laughs> like some queens. <gasps> <Ooh>! <laughs> what is a, a story or a moment from touring with uh, Trixie that you, that we might not know about? <laughs> the best things is um, is uh, that we always get to tour with Karen from Finance. Ah. Have you had Karen on yet? Yes, we have. Okay, that's right. Uh, she she's she's the best and and it's fun we get together and we'll do like my insta stories and do all kinds of just cheese ball fun stuff together now trixie says that you're an up and at them in the morning uh type of gal and that she was staying in the hotel too much for your liking is that the case well you know she's the boss <laughs> uh, up and at it. Well, I mean, I want to get out and do something, but she was working a lot. She had a lot more work, a lot more pressure on her with all that's going on, Billboard and all that stuff. And yeah. The music, Larry King Live and all that stuff. Right. You know, uh, it, I was thinking about that because I'm really not a morning person, to be honest with you, but when I'm around people and stuff and we're on showbiz, you know, I'm going to be chipper and and be excited, but it really like when I, I'm there with my friend Jay Lynn in, in Long Beach right now, and I'll go and chant early. They like to chant so early, so I'll go chant with them, and I'm like, don't say anything. Let me just let this, let me open up, and when I'm ready, I'll wake up. But I mean, I chant. I'll lead and everything, but mm -mm, I just don't bother me in the morning. I'm not a morning person. 
Now, Trixie has her own makeup line. Is a Tammy makeup line something you ever would like to do? Actually, you know, I really would like to do a line of um, biodegradable products. Mm -hmm. Biodegradable uh, nails, for sure, would be a great idea. Yes. Because um, there is um, um, plastic that's made out of um, organic material. Not that oil's unorganic, but oil should stay in the core of the earth. Frack you later, RuPaul. Uh, <laughs> but, well for the hearing impaired clap um, <laughs> that are at home. But I think it's, you know, I want to create like, and go back to the old style where the lipsticks are in metal metal tubes and compacts in a metal tube and stuff. I mean, in a metal casing and stuff, instead of all this plastic, plastic, plastic. Because you already know there's these huge places in the ocean and yeah. there's the microplastic that's coming out of our, our rain and we're breathing it in all the time and eating it and it's in the carrots and in the beetroot. Yeah. It's that plastics are everywhere, Tammy. They so it's are definitely everywhere. our enemy to defeat. But with the studying Paul Stamets and mycobiology, which is the study of mushrooms, it, mm -hmm. mushrooms can actually eat through plastics yes. and oils and stuff like that. And they've been around for centuries. There's even a theory that, you know, they've evolved, you know, helped the evolution of the planet and whatever. So. Always a fountain of knowledge, Tammy. I want to get some of those mushrooms and put them on those islands of plastic in the ocean, and maybe we can solve some of our problems. We got to do something. That's we very important. Do and you can eat the, you know, and there's the different kinds of not, not this, you know, magic mushrooms. By the way, I take those from time to time, but they don't give me the kind of high that I like. I'm naturally high. Uh huh. Sometimes I think I might have a chemical imbalance or something, but because um, I don't get high on them really, like woo, mm -hmm. I already feel on my own. You know, yeah. I, I can feel the vibration on my own, I don't need those, but um, the, the mushrooms, you can eat them and they're also very good for your, your system, your body. They heal your body. And Paul Stamets was even cured of his uh, stuttering from an overdose, uh, too many mushrooms in one night. It's not some made up crap, mm -hmm. like Agreed. methamphetamine, you know, and then you end up collecting shampoo bottles and masturbating for 17 hours. <laughs> 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 on that note, Look at all. Oh, this one. Mrs. Kasha Davis. Kasha Davis. Uh, Kasha Davis and I, we have a we have a hoot and we do the, the Tina scoot. Uh huh. Yes, we, we both love Tina Turner. Uh -huh, big time Tina Turner fans and um, she actually messaged me the other day and she was showing me she had gotten the new one of these books, a photo book that came out. There was there's two actually. One is released with all, a two Tina Turner book. And it's released like with a swatch of this Armani fabric, but it's really just that kind of flat on rhinestones, not like they were sewn on or pronged on, so I could care less. And then there's like the whole, like you can get a, it's like $2,500. Wow, for and, the book? Yeah, and my dear friend Donovan Marcel was like, all right, then I guess I'm gonna have to prostitute myself now. <laughs> uh, he's a big Tina fan too, the Tina Roos, I like to call us. Um, but I have a great time with her. We've been able to travel, and last year she did her show in Provincetown, which is a real tearjerker. I said, girl, we're not doing any more of those tear sad ones like that. Mm. And um, she's just great, great company. And in fact, I was gonna invite her, she's been on the Browns as well, and I was gonna invite her with me, because last year we were they were working on getting me to see the Tina Turner musical, but uh, the person who was working on it didn't get anything anywhere. Mm. Although he got his paycheck. <laughs> But he did not get Tammy Brown in the audience for the Tina Turner no, musical. No, and a special time to meet her. Yes, and oh I my gosh. I would like to meet her, but who knows now with COVID, and she is going to be 81 this year. But Kasha's great. We, we've toured and had a lot of great times What's together. What's the most fun you guys have had in Provincetown? Because that seems like that was, it's kind of like, uh, like it's Drag Queen Central in the summer. All the Drag Race girls are out there. For me, the funnest part is probably riding on the rickshaws. Ah. Mm -hmm. With Martine. Oh, Martine, your mm -hmm. driver? Yeah. Lovely. Uh -huh. Is Miss Kasha Davis like the rickshaws? She has fun. We ride around. We'll go have drinks. or Well, she doesn't drink. She's a pusher. Right. But, you know, she's in the Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah. But she still has fun. Of course. Uh -huh. One can always have fun. <laughs> now, here's another Provincetown friend of yours. Look at her. Mm -hmm. Oh. Milk. Now you guys were performing in Provincetown at the same time. Yeah, Milk and I. We had a. We. She would come over and she. I'd cook for her with Jose Guzman Colon, and we we'd cook. And Ezra Tawala was my roommate, and um, we we would ride the rickshaw together, and we'd go out and promote on the streets together, and 
it's always a great time. The only problem I have with Milk is she, she's also a queen with a cause, but she, she never calls me back. Oh, Milk, uh -huh. get it together. Uh -huh. Her and Nina Flores. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Uh -huh. DJ Flowers, excuse me. Of course, as we talked about in the main show. Uh -huh. um, now, when you're in Provincetown, what's a typical day? And who you were, you were roommates with someone or you're living in a house? Okay. What was that like? Well, first of all, the rent is overly priced there. It's outrageous. It was like $16,000 for uh, two of us in upstairs apartment, Ezra Tawalo and myself. Ezra is the football star. And he's been on Ellen, you know, and he said she wasn't that toxic. He was praising her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mind you, I do know other people that work for her and have said that she's a real, you know, something else, but mm. that's okay. <laughs> I would like to go on her show. I've thought about it before, but I mean, who wants to go? If she's going to be mean, I don't know about that. Business. <laughs> you know, um, but the, a typical day in Provincetown is a circle. Right. Just a circle. Because you get up, you have your stuff, you go, you do on that on the street promotion. You go mm -hmm. on the strip and you promote on the strip and you have to hand out the flyers and you you do it in drag and then you go and, and then you do your show and you know and then you do the meet and greet and whatever and then you party a little bit or party all night. I didn't sleep much when I was there. Uh huh. <laughs> I was really having a good time. Yes. Yeah, I sure was and riding around in my rickshaw. Now, <laughs> Milk went, and Milk had a bit of a difficult time after her All Stars, and the fans really sort of came after her, calling her delusional and everything else. What was your opinion of that whole situation? Well, it wasn't me. Well, I know that. <laughs> I know. No, no. Uh, We've well, had her here, and we love her. I don't think she's delusional. Did, I think she's great. But. I think actually, she had a real high concept show last year, and um, being that she was at a new a new venue too. The sales weren't as well and stuff. Not like mine were the best either. You have to build up there, build up, build up. But um, I, I think she's great. I think it's all in the editing. And I think, yes, yeah, she was feeling, as, as Gia Gunn, wear your mask, said, you know, feeling her oats. Uh -huh. She was actually feeling her oats, you yeah. know? I th and she had a right to feel that she was looking beautiful. and Because she was, I, you know, she was giving him that, you know, what is this? fish look or whatever right. they want, you know? So <laughs> I, I, I think she's brilliant. And I've, called, I've told her before, you're a queen with a cause. And, you know, I, people need to loosen up. Loosen up and stop paying so much attention to what Donald Trump is doing. Mm -hmm. You know, get out there and do something. Yeah, and stop acting like Donald Trump. Everybody's turned into own little mini Donald Trumps. Oh, really? Hello, children.